A Fulton family of 12 tonight is now moved from their home after a fire tore through its walls on Saturday. They lost everything they owned. But as News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc shows us, the community is now stepping in, helping them get back on their feet. Daddy, how are you, sweetheart? Thank you guys for coming. Are you helping us? An entire community coming together, stopping by this elementary school, leaving behind hundreds of donations for a family now suddenly in need. I'm still in awe to look around and to have everybody come together so quickly. It just, it's amazing. Shakima Horde was babysitting at her family's home on Oneida Street this Saturday when it caught on fire. The 12 people who lived there losing everything they owned. We grabbed all the kids and the dog and we, we ran outside without shoes and coats and socks. Those items now being replaced. People dropping off clothes, food, and toys for the five adults and seven kids, ranging from eight months old to 11 years old. This all started after one teacher who works here at Fairgrave Elementary School and knows the family well texted other teachers saying, we need to do something to help this family. Then they posted on Facebook asking for donations, but they never expected it'd get this big. They're amazing kids, and if it was my family, I would hope somebody would, would help us too. A tight-knit city now showing its true colors when one of its own needs help. No matter what they've gone through and, and, and schools working with the community and, and neighbors and friends working together, um, Fulton community is, is strong. Sometimes we don't realize it, but they're a strong community and they acted so fast here. Those kids are some of the strongest kids I've ever met in my entire life. So. I know that I'll be okay and that my family will be okay. Heading into the holidays and seeing the best part of people after going through the worst. In Fulton, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. And a member of the community has reached out to the Horches and the Brooks families, offering them a place to stay rent-free for a month until they get back on their feet. There's also a GoFundMe page, which as of now is up to nearly $5,000.